So the main remodel is done, guys, with the cabinets, the chair, the floor, the painting. I do have little touch-ups here and there. We're getting rid of these curtains around the front. We just don't care for them. They're stained. And it won't come out. We've washed them so many times. We've tried everything. But I'm pretty sure they're original. And Chloe likes to go up there. So she walks through the crack. And her hair is always there. I have to clean that all the time. So I think we're going to do just some like vinyl the smooth roller shades that you just pull down and the on the front it will also act as a sunshade when I'm driving I can pull it down to where I need it because the ones that come in the coach the tent ones those don't work very well they're just I don't know they just never seem to be in the right spot and they don't block the Sun very well anyway even if you look through it the, the remodel is done but the projects never end never um, right now I'm catching up on some videos and also my stepdad had these speakers just sitting in his, in his shed they've been in there for a long time he wasn't going to use them so he told me to take them so instead of putting some little tweeters up above like I was going to do I think I'm going to wrap these in the brown fabric and hang those up here above us they're pretty nice eclipse speakers so they'll be pretty loud louder than we'll need I'm sure <laughs> You only have to make the sides that you're going to see look pretty. There's the back that will be against the wall. Not bad. This one is done and mounted. It's mounted pretty good. It doesn't move. It's not going anywhere. I mounted up underneath this and then I mounted through this cabinet through the box. It's pretty solid. I have not tried them yet. Well, I tried them before I started doing the fabric. They are pretty loud. But I haven't ran the wire yet. I'll do that after I get the other speaker mounted over here. Alright, so I got the speakers done yesterday. They're all wired up. They're very loud. Way louder than we'll ever need. But the only thing I have left, all the wires ran and they're hooked up and stuff, but I still have to cut the piece of wood that goes here. That's not even original. I put those on because that was just a flat piece of wood like that. So I put the piece of wood here so we can put stuff up there. We just mainly we keep sunglasses. Candace is going to have to find somewhere to put some of hers because she had this entire thing full, two, two sunglasses wide all the way across here. Like, I don't know how many pairs. There's some of them are here, two, four, there's five there. She has like 20, 30 pairs of sunglasses, all different colors. I don't know. She got a fascination with sunglasses. I have like two. One for working when I'm wearing my contacts that are kind of scratched up and one for when I drive and stuff. But yeah, so that was an unplanned project, but I wanted to go ahead and just get it done. 
and then I've got a few more things I've got to start doing around here we do plan on going somewhere um, I think May May 21st something like that of next month uh, Candace's vacation starts and she's got about eight days the plan right now is to head to Illinois near Chicago I think south of Chicago and visit Tim Rover and meet him and he's the one that gave us the stereo if you guys haven't seen the video Tim sent us over this CD player Tim's an RVer and also another youtuber so check him out if you haven't already um, so yeah that's the plan is to head that way and I've been looking for an RV park or an ATV park as close to him as I can get which isn't it isn't real easy anywhere near Chicago there's like no RV parks hardly but we're also since she has eight days we're probably gonna go to another ATV park somewhere either on the way or the way back and maybe do a couple days if we can find a really cool one I've seen a couple it just there's nothing like directly on the way it just depends on how far out of our way we want to go but we'll see I mean that's that's the plan so far for her vacation but as we all know too well things can change so that's the plan right now we're so ready to get out of here for a little while guys I want to drive this thing and see what the new steering stabilizer feels like and also before we go next month I want to try to get front shocks put on here I would like to do back to but the back can wait we definitely need front shocks I need to do the oil change on this I need to do an oil change on the generator and I also need to order a fuel filter for the generator because it takes a while to start and I've got a feeling that's what it is because I did the new fuel pump not long ago it wouldn't I couldn't get it to start at all and I ordered a new fuel pump it wasn't getting gas and that worked and it started pretty quick for a little while and now it's kind of hard to start again I also need to change the oil on the razor and the differential fluid in the front and the back. And also, I've got to redo this windshield. I have a leak. I sealed it up over the winter just with some waterproof glue. It's on the outside and it's right about here where all the rubber meets for this strip so I have a plan to redo the whole outside because somebody caulked it a long time ago with some clear caulk and it's turned brown and it's the front just it makes the front look so ugly and I think today since it's raining I'm going to scrape all this black paint it's just falling off and it looks like crap too so I'm going to scrape it all off get a razor and cover this with something and I don't think I'm going to redo it in the black paint. I don't, I don't see the point. I think somebody did that. Yeah, it's got to go. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. It's Friday.